hello everyone how are you guys doing so in this one i am going to show you guys how to create a this style t-shirt design and the reason i am showing you this is because this is a very customizable design like you can make one design and then you can change the images and then it will become multiple designs you can change the niche like you can make it with dog you can make it with cat you can make it with horse or any other animal you like so this will be very helpful i think and for making a design like this you have to make sure that the image you are going to use that is very high quality otherwise that will make a make your print very low quality so if you are taking a high quality image then it is okay to use images in your vector graphics so how to start so first step is you have to you need some good quality vector you need some good quality images to use in this design so you can see here is a good example of a german shepherd so i'm going to take that one or you can search like this dog face you can search like this you will find tons of different images so i am using unsplash.com this is the best website for taking free images and these are all copyright free you can use them in your commercial works don't worry so i am using this one which one so this one if you try to download it you can see this is already way bigger file that means the almost 400 4000 into 5000 or 6000 pixel in size so that is really good and for using this design or making this design ready for a design like this i need to do like removing the background so this is the original image here i downloaded and then i just remove the background some part of the background from here and then this is the final image that i'm going to use now i am going to show you how to prepare an image like this so this is really easy so this is the layer mask let's delete the layer mask so this is the original image first step is i am going to take my sorry pen tool here and with my pen tool i am going to make a rough selection from this area don't worry about how how it is looking right now just make a selection like this and you have to go it from all the different area like whichever area you want to keep like this and i'm just going to show you this part here so just make a selection of your image or the area that you want like this then go to this selection click ok this is fine and then click on this layer mask so that will make a mask like this and you can see whichever area i wanted to keep that is staying here and in this position i need to take my brush tool make sure that your foreground color is white right now because white makes everything visible and when your brush color is white make sure that hardness is zero percent and then if i just simply brush like this it will bring back the details of my design that is like i don't want this hard area of my design of my selection so i'm going to paint over this area and that will give me a non-hard selection like you can see this is really hard area i am just going to paint over this area and that is going to this is not the precise way of making a selection but this will work for us right now so this is how i created that image let me show you so this is the png image that i created using that original german shepherd image this one and then i need i need to bring that to my illustrator so first i'm going to file then place you can press ctrl shift or p but go to place and then select the image that you want to use here now you can simply click here it will place in your document like this so you can see the white area is my full artboard size and this is almost same size bigger that means I can use this image this will be big enough for printing and you can see if this is a good quality image so no pixel is showing up here and the edges are not very hard you can see there are some hard edges there but don't worry about that we are not worried about that so this is my image right now i need to first of all let's down the opacity so that i can see what's going on let's lock it and then i'm going to take my ruler here sorry just place it back that is fine okay so not like that like this so let's bring a ruler here and then place it somewhere in the middle of the dog face maybe something like this that position looks good to me right click on the ruler and then lock guides so that will lock my layer ruler it is not going to move from its place 
now i need to type in this text or any text you want so these are my text i'm going to place them here make sure there is no mistake in your text and how to check that if you take a tab and then place your text here paste your text here and make a google search you will find that there is no mistake in here if your image got some mistakes like this it will show up here like you can see this bold text is showing up there is a mistake in my writing so that's how you can check if there is no mistake so this is my text let let's go to file a script and then divide text frame to separate them by lines and then i'm going to place them all in this right direction just like this now there is two way of making this design on is very perfect way like you can see they are matching the shape of the dog so they are putting a small text for the ear area then bigger text for the mouth area you can do like that or you can simply make it a simple design so that you can modify it later so i'm going to take a bolder looking font here so maybe like poster gothic yeah this font is good so make sure that everything is staying in this area in this in the left side of the ruler area that is fine now for from this area i need to make sure that everything is staying inside this face area of the dog just like this and then if i select this one okay so i'm going to change the i am sure that i don't need to change this text anymore so i can now break them just like this and that will not they will no longer be text anymore so i'm going to first of all place it something like this i am using direct selection tool to select this part cut paste ctrl g to group so this is how you can simply place your text in the area where you want to place it and this is how you can fill the shape of the dog there make sure that your text is staying inside the dog area if you place it like this in this white area the text will be invisible so that's there is no point of placing your text there something like this that is fine then again this one here you can see i am making this bigger because here starts the big area so i am going to place it in this area it is just going to take some time to place everything in a position like this so that it looks good just make sure you are not going outside of the dog area then that area will be invisible like if i place my text on this white area that will be invisible or there is one more way that is you can simply unlock this layer image layer you can change it to the original image like this so if you do like this then you can place your text in say in this area and that will be visible like here is some background color and that will be visible through your text but i'm not worried about that right now let's unlock it again so i'm going to place them here it is going to take some time guys so i'll be back after this is done okay so this is the final position of the text right now and i am just trying to fill in the area that is staying inside this dog image you can see i am not going outside of the dog image maybe somewhere so something like this everything is staying in the dog image area that is the main reason of this design so this is how it is looking right now and this looks really easy but there is a simple tricks that will make it look good so this part is done i am going to make it a copy group here and then i will keep a copy so that if needed i can change the text position here so this is my text let's unlock this layer and turn on the full opacity this is how it is looking right now and this part i want to make it colorize and why i am doing that i will tell you later so let's pick the eyedropper and then let's pick some color from this image something like a darker shade of these colors any color that is this dog have here so something like this this color is really, really good 
so here is you need to do two things one is i am going to select this dog image then control c control b that will create another copy of that dog you can see this is the lower copy this is the upper copy i need two dog images and then here of course i am going to copy this this text part and once that is copied i need to go to object compound path and then make that will become a compound path and when that is a compound path i am going to select this too that means the text and any of this image layer right click and then make clipping mask click yes and this is how it is looking right now don't worry how it is looking just we have a image that is in the background if i turn that off this is how it is looking that means you can see the dog is visible through our text every details of the dog that is visible through our text and for keeping that visible for always i need to do one more thing that is press ctrl f as we have that text part copied i am applying that here and then if i turn off if i decrease the opacity a little bit then it will look like this that is the style i wanted to create here of course i can select this part anytime and then i can reduce or increase the opacity but let's just keep it like this right now and then turn on this second layer of the image so this is how it is looking if i select this image layer open transparency and then here i will be i am going to draw a rectangle here that is going to be a black rectangle nothing just a complete black then maybe i will bring that a bit right to the text something like this in this area and let's see how it is looking so something like this a little less space between the text so this is how it is looking if i click here that is fine and then i'm going to take a rectangle of course in black then send that to back so you can see this is how my image is looking right now this is how my design will look and the reason i placed reason i placed this color layer here if i cut that you will see the image is looking good but it is not readable because the dark part of the image dark part of the text or the dog face that is making this area invisible so that you cannot read that and if i press that color if i place that color area on top of that it is going to look like this i can change the color of it of course then it will look different i can apply any other color that i want on that image that is also going to make it another style or my another theme like this but the main point of this design of this layer color layer is to make it readable so just keep it something like this and then i'm going to pick some color from this image maybe this one and then when your text is almost everything is readable that is fine so this is the main design of your of this tutorial and then if you want to replace the image you can simply select this one go to linked file and then replace it with any image you have so it is looking like like this let's keep it as it is for now i am going to select this group but not that one this clipping group and then click on this icon here go to linked file again you can change it to any image you want and you can see this is how it is going to look right now and then you can simply make this one smaller in size to adjust the position or here is one more thing that i wanted to show that if i change this your dog to your cat i can simply replace it with a cat image like this and it is going to look like this kind of that clipping group you have to select this clipping group then click here and then change the image to a cat image like this so this is how it is going to look right now and then you will need to change this position of the text but that's not the point of this design so i hope you understand this process of making this design you can simply make it black and white let me show you if this is my original design or this clipping mask group so i am going to sorry guys i need to open this one the png one that i am using there and if i go to image adjustment and then black and white it is going to look black and white that is fine i can also change the colors from here the contrast or any other changes that i wanted to create here i can do that something like this click ok and then press ctrl s if you press ctrl s that means save and once it will be saved you can see it is saving here or you can see here so once it will be 100 percent 
that is done it will automatically update here it will show me a pop-up here if i click yes it is going to update my images here you can see this is how it is looking right now and then this is the image layer that is i am going to using i will be using here so this is how you can make it a black and white image so this is how you can adjust you can modify your designs so i'm going to select this one then maybe select this kind of white color so that it looks like a black and white image and that is fine let's ungroup unlock this guide to remove that and this is what it is looking right now but i will do it in a color way so i'm going to save it again and so once it will be saved it is going to give me a pop-up that will show me to update the files okay so if you have any kind of question you can let me know in the in the comment section and i will try to answer your questions guys i hope this is this one will help you so this is fine let's select this one and then pick a color like this and that is fine if your text is readable then this is a good design if your text is not readable then this is not a good design anyway so once your design is done just turn off this black layer and then export it as a png image here make sure that it is png select the destination folder where you want to save it let me show you the quality of this design okay so it takes some time to export it anyway so this is my design here that is another design i was trying so this is how it will look and you can see if i zoom in so this is a complete high resolution image don't worry about the quality this will look like a regular vector t-shirt design no problem with the no compromise with the quality so this is how you can make it and then of course you can upload this to any print on demand website and they will support because my artboard was 300 dpi when i started this created this artboard i take that as 300 dpi so ppi so that will be ideal for print on demand so that's it for today's video guys i hope you learned something new from this one and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you need to know anything let me know in the comment section i will try to answer your questions thank you again see you in the next video guys have a great time